Hello, everyone, and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today, we are doing Virgo's general guidance message for the upcoming week. Now, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. Also, guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here, and it does help to set intentions for future messages. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to pull out my pendulum for you to ask a yes or no question. Be sure to hold the question in your mind until the end. So let's dive in here, Virgo, and see what we can see for your upcoming energy. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? What do they need to see for this upcoming week? Please and thank you. The energy surrounding you, Virgo, the Eight of Wands, the Emperor, and the Ten of Wands. The Challenge, the Ace of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Fool. The Outcome, we have the Three of Cups, the Temperance, and the Two of Wands. The Six of Wands is on the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's a situation here, Virgo, where you feel an intense connection with this particular person in your life. There's some blockages when it comes to communication. I feel like you guys just can't get on the same page for whatever reason. The Eight of Wands, the Emperor, the Ten of Wands. It's difficult to talk to this person. It's difficult to communicate you find it difficult to say what you need to say and maybe even get a message across to this person. Now we're going to clarify all of this energy here in a minute. Part of the challenge, Virgo, is there's new opportunities, new experiences that are coming into your life. But I honestly, with the Ace of Swords, the full energy, I feel like this is a new phase. It's like you're moving into a brand new phase and maybe this has to do with business with the Six of Pentacles. But it's like you don't want to deal with any confusion, any uncertainty. You want to focus on the things that are clear, the path of least resistance. And this has been coming out for a lot of signs, this path of least resistance energy. Now in the outcome, we see there is a celebration. There is coming together, having hope, or there being hope for whatever it is that you're focusing your energy on. And I honestly feel like this has to do with a business venture. There's still this energy with the two of wands of like looking back, looking back to make sure that you made the right decision. Or maybe this is feeling like you left somebody behind. So let's clarify for you, Virgo. Now again, guys, if you find the messages helpful or resonating, please give it a thumbs up. We're going to start here with the Eight of Wands, the Emperor, and the Ten of Wands energy. Four of Wands in the reverse, the Seven of Swords, and the Fool energy. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Part of the reason why you can't see, you can't get on the same page with your person is I feel here they're not being honest with something that they're currently going through, something that they're having to release or some sort of ending that's going on in their life. But for some of you, this person could be getting a divorce, going through some sort of legal matter, and they're not really being honest with you about this, Okay. The full energy again, you see. So you're headed in this new direction with or without this person. I do feel like, again, you feel an intense connection with this particular person, but there's a lot of confusion, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of secrets. So what do you do in that situation? Do you stay and do you deal? Do you put up a fight or do you protect your energy, right? 
it's going to determine what you want the outcome to be but i honestly personally feel like protecting your energy is in your best interest path of least resistance let's clarify the ace of swords the six of pentacles the full energy the thing is virgo as you go down this new path with this new opportunity coming in you're going to meet new people you're going to have new experiences new adventures by leaving this person behind putting this in the past you're opening yourself up for new experiences think about it when you're in a relationship you're not interested in being in another relationship so anybody that tries to approach you in that manner you're going to shut down correct on the other hand if you close out this chapter world energy and focus on this new opportunity, new people that you're meeting, new adventures coming in. Without being in a relationship, you're going to be open to meeting people on different levels. And that's just inevitable. Okay? Psychological. That's kind of where you're at right now. Virgo, it's like a rock and a hard spot. Which path do I choose? Which decision do I make, right? Do you have everything that you need in front of you to make this decision? I will say by walking away from this person, there's going to be an energy of looking back on this because there is an intense connection that is felt here with this person with the lovers and to be honest with you Virgo this should also be part of the challenge part of the challenge here the reason why it's hard for you to walk away or to put this to bed put this to rest because of the intensity that you feel with this person I feel here if you walk away from this person in particular there may be a lot of regret. There may be a lot of sadness. I do feel like the intention is pure of protecting your energy. Um, but you need to close out the chapter properly. And I do feel like this person isn't going to let you go so easily. So you have a decision to make, right? Sometimes we're being presented with new opportunities, new experiences in order to let go of things that are no longer serving us. So just keep that in mind. And as long as you close out the chapter properly, there should be no sadness, no regret. So think about how that looks to you, Virgo, closing out a chapter properly. Pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice moving forward. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support. For liking, for subscribing, for sharing the content. Page of Swords, the Magician, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Hermit, both Virgo energy. Spirit is guiding for you to take a pause. Don't move forward too quickly. Don't move on too quickly. But also don't stay where you feel left out or not heard or not seen. Okay? So the magician energy, you have everything that you need to make the decision that you need to make. Focus on what's best for you, Virgo. Don't watch and wait on this person. Rather, sit, experience, does this person align with what I want for my future? How they are right now without them changing. Because we can't expect a person to change. Correct? If you want this to work you want this to work with this particular person there is hope for this to work there's boundaries that need to be set you guys do need to get on the same page which i feel is difficult you guys have a hard time sitting down and having a conversation 
can it be done? I do feel like it can be done. But it's something that you have to want to do. They have to want to do. Both have to be able to come together, right? It can't just be one or the other. So sit and think about it for a little bit. How you feel. And you're going to know best because you're going to know what this person is hiding, right? If they're just hiding like something small, let's say a person from their past reached out, they didn't know how you would react, so they nipped it in the bud, but they didn't tell you, as opposed to them reconciling with somebody from their past and not telling you at all. You see what I mean? How it would be different. I will say, though, either scenario is a little bit fishy, okay? And questioning, if you're questioning a situation, then pause. Pause until you find the answers, okay? Path of least resistance, but you don't want to look back on a situation with regret and hardship because you walked away too quickly, too impulsively, or... didn't really weigh the pros and cons very well okay so just be mindful of that energy hermit energy queen of pentacles you know what it is you want for your future so all you have to do is sit down and analyze this just a little bit okay don't overanalyze don't overthink it just sit and contemplate for a second as this person is in their energy do they align with your future So truth message here, Virgo, is where am I called to use my voice right now? You have a soul script that was written to be spoken. Your story matters, and it's time for you to share it with the world. Today's soul action, share your story with at least one person today. Be brave. Speak your truth. Your voice will be the catalyst for healing in others. Where am I being called? to use my voice right now. Beautiful, beautiful. Virgo, I'm going to pull out the pendulum for your pendulum reading. I'll give you a second to hold the question in your mind until the end. Thank you guys again for all the love and the support for the rituals that we do here on the channel for the ritual kits, personal readings, and the drawing that we're going to do at 20,000 subscribers. The information is all below in the description box. If you found the message is helpful, if it's resonating for you in your situation, you can give it a thumbs up or you can comment below how it was helpful. You never know how your story could help another person. Most important message here for Virgo spirit. What do my Virgo friends need to know? That's a yes. That is a yes. So Virgo, I feel like that's a good solid message. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. And I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.